Hey folks, how's it going? I hope you're all doing well. Uh, today's video is about Linux distros, so I'm thinking about getting into Linux but don't know where to start. Don't worry, I have you covered. In this video, we tell you down the top Linux distribution for beginners in 2025. Whether you want something basic, lightweight or feature rich, there is a Linux distribution for you. Let's get started. First of all, let's learn what is a Linux distro or Linux distribution. A Linux distribution is an installable operating system based on the Linux kernel that includes user applications, repositories, and libraries. A distro is the Linux version provided by an enterprise or community. Because Linux is open source and licensed under the general public license, anyone is free to run, study, change, and redistribute the source code, as well as sell copies of their modification. This is quite different from traditional operating system such as Unix, Microsoft Windows, and Mac OS, which are proprietary and cannot be modified. There are thousands of distros available. Uh, some of the populars are Debian based, Ubuntu based, Arch based, and Slackware based. Today we'll talk about suitable for beginners Linux distribution. At the very first, we're gonna talk about Zorin OS. Because of its familiar user interface, this distribution is ideal for newbie who are transitioning from Windows. It comes pre-installed with important programs and allows you to select layouts that resemble Windows 10 or 11. Furthermore, it is extremely reliable, built on Ubuntu and suitable for both personal and professional users. If you are new to Linux and concerned about the steep learning curve, Zorin OS makes it feel like you never left Windows. Another on the list we have Pop OS. It is created by System76. It's designed with efficiency in mind, making it ideal not only for novice but also for gamers and developers. It has simple and intuitive design and its styling window manager simplifies multitasking. Furthermore, Pop OS includes support for NVIDIA and AMD GPUs, making it an excellent choice for gaming and creative work. It's user-friendly but strong enough to expand with you as you learn more about Linux. Now, this is a Linux community favorite, Mint. Mint is well known for being simple and easy to use making it excellent for first-time users with three desktop environment to select from cinnamon matte and xfce it's configurable but not overpowering and the greatest part mint has an extensive number of pre-installed applications letting you to get started straight away this os is even popular if you heard of linux you probably heard about ubuntu Ubuntu is an ancient African word, meaning humanity to others. Our current latest version is 24.10. Uh, it is equipped with GNOME 47, a modern desktop environment and receives regular kernel updates, which ensure smooth operation and compatibility with wide range of hardware. Uh, the basic system requirements are for 24.10 uh, version which are 2 GHz dual core processor or better 4 GB of system memory or 25 GB of free hard drive space Ubuntu offers a unique way to experience Linux through its various flavors each with their own default applications and settings these flavors are developed by people from across the world and cater to specific user needs and preferences providing a diverse range of 
options for users to choose from. It's easy to use, well supported and has a large community to aid you if you get stuck. In 2025, Ubuntu remains the undisputed leader due to its clean GNOME desktop experience, frequent updates and compatibility with practically all applications. Whether you are using it for personal use, programming or even running a server, Ubuntu is the perfect place to start. We have elementary OS, sometimes known as the Mac OS of Linux. Why? Because its clean, simple style is both polished and user-friendly. It's ideal for those who appreciate aesthetics and simplicity. Elementary OS prioritizes distraction-free operation and has a carefully chosen software store, making it an excellent choice for both creative professionals and regular customers. Another very good distro is Fedora Workstation, uh, which is popular among developers and professionals, but also suitable for beginners. Fedora is cutting edge, so you'll always have access to the most recent applications and features. It runs the GNOME desktop environment, which is sleek and contemporary, and it is supported by Red Hat, making it a dependable choice. Fedora is perfect for those who want to get into technology while being user-friendly. Another on the list we have Manjaro Linux, one of the most beginner-friendly Arch-based variants. Unlike Arch Linux, which might be intimidating for newbies, Manjaro has a simple installer and professional desktop environment. It's a rolling release, so you will always get the most recent upgrades. It's reliable enough for daily usage. Manjaro's many desktop environments, including KDE, XFCE, and GNOME, allows you to customize your experience while remaining accessible. So, there you go, our top Linux distribution for OS users in 2025. There is a Linux distribution on this list for everyone, regardless of skill level or goals. Which one are you going to try? Please let me know in the comment below. If you already tried one, please share your experience with others in the community. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe for deeper information and check the bell button to never miss an update. Thank you for viewing and happy Linuxing. See you in the next one. Ciao.